Um, so my first thoughts are sadly, of course, that well, my first thoughts, are, uh, my first thoughts are, damn, you know, um, just you know, just just to be honest, right? Damn, right. you know, like in terms of him. But so so we were also looking at this uh, uh, this this alternative that's um, uh, this alternative approach that has been studied and that experts um, suggest compared to, you know, the traditional um, prison and, you know, like um, approach like that, you know, system uh, systematic uh, approach like that. But which is also restorative justice, restorative justice you know, yeah. right, mm -hmm. which um focuses on the survivors, you know, and um, in the healing and focuses on healing. Restorative justice is being represented and feeling that there is a piece of you in the greater whole. So if I had to describe restorative justice to someone who's never heard it before, the first instinct is to care for the person harmed and then to ask what needs to happen to help them to heal. If I could define restorative justice, I'd probably say an alternative to punitive measures where you're focusing on uplifting students and trying to keep them in the classroom instead of pushing them out. A definition I really like is a relational approach to addressing conflict. And this is a way to deal with conflict when it arises, rooting it in personal relationships that matter. Restorative justice is about community building. And if you've ever been in a restorative circle, you can feel the healing effect of it. The main premise of the circle is that it equalizes people. Restorative justice is an open-hearted approach to dealing with problems where harm was created. Right, so um, instead of, yeah, instead of uh, just, you know, like, instead of just like, oh, okay, well, um, this is the perpetrator, this is his fault, like, or her fault or whatever, and send them to jail, and that's just it, right? But that's, right. that's well, system-wise, that's a whole issue anyway, you know? Yes, so, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> and that's a whole other conversation, right? Right, right. But, <laughs> but um, but yeah, so it, I, I think, uh, I think it's so important for us, and, and this is such a, even though these things have been going on for a very long time, right? Um, but we're in a, time because of what's going on in society period but we're in a time where it, within breaking we've never been at this point where you know where there's been so much focus on it you know right. and and voices have been heard and um so we we've never been at in this specific time but it's so mm -hmm. necessary it's so mm -hmm. necessary you know right. um and but I also hope that we really get to the root of it and we really implement um, approaches that will really focus on healing, that will really focus on um, having experts be a part of it, you know, and, um, and yeah, we, we figure we figure that out, you know, we have continue to have these conversations, you know, but but yeah, but I mean, toxic behavior is passed on, down, is normalized, is, you know, it's ingrained, you know, it's, uh, it's still happening while we're all talking about this. It's, you know, it's all, it's all still constant, you know, so just because, you know, just because legs is experiencing or the focus is on him and everybody's saying he needs to X out, you know, get away, not represent um, anything that anything. he was affiliated with yeah. doesn't, you know, solve the problem. No. So, yeah. And, and to your point, uh, to your point as well is like with the, with so much focus being on legs, you know, B-boy such and such who did something very similar is now like, whoo, thank exactly. you. He yeah. might even be posting like, yeah, man, legs is, we need to get him up out of here. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. You know? Yes. So mm -hmm. It seemed like, you know, this really 
hit, you know, like they say, the ish hit the fan. As soon as the article about, you know, I'm happy to be sitting at the table, then it was like, bang, 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 right? Now, it's easy to say, well, like, oh, they just say, they just hating or, you know, well, why, why are they doing it with this timing? But um, in, in actuality, unless you've been through something like that, you probably don't realize how layered and how difficult yes. that, that uh, you know, coming out and speaking out would be. Um, do you have any, like, thoughts or advice that you would give to uh, not just B-girls, but just females, period, who um, go through these traumatic experiences to where they can have the courage to step out, you know, instantly versus, you know, later? Um, I do not because no it is very layered. It really, it really is, y'all. It, mm-hmm. it, it really is. It's not as because every person is different, you know, like yeah. every person is different. Their experience is different. And it's, yeah, I, I don't, I can't even play around with that. You know, we're having, we're giving that advice, you know what I mean? Because okay. it's, it's, it's too layered. It's really too layered. And I can't mm-hmm. speak for anybody else, you know, like everybody has their own time, you know, and it doesn't diminish just be or you know diminish the person just because you're coming out at a later time you know it doesn't um i i yeah i could say like you know it's okay it's gonna be okay we're you know we're gonna believe you we're gonna you know like it's you'll have support you know that (laughs) that doesn't I, i feel like it's it's very superficial like it's obviously we mean it you know we mean it but still that I don't think that's enough to to say like to say to encourage somebody to come out, you know, and and uh, at a at a at a sooner or faster time, or rather right. sooner than later, you know. I just think it's um in due time. You no, know, if if you want to come out, come out, you know, and speak on it. Um, but it doesn't it doesn't mean you're not you're not. Um, you don't have any courage just because you're not going to come out. You know what I mean? It doesn't, that, that, that's not the case. Um, but you, you do it at your time. You know what I mean? You do it at your time. That's, that's all I can say. Do it at your time. Yeah. Wow. Okay, cool. And, um, what, what do you think is the, like, how do you grade the, uh, the community's response to the situation? Because not so much on the, like focusing on legs part because a lot of people did that more like um i didn't see and of course i didn't see everything but i didn't see a lot of disbelief i didn't see a lot of oh she lying you know what i'm saying i saw a lot of su- what seemed like support and you know people like you know i always got to give him a shout out my guy rock lobster he is heavy on this <laughs> uh yeah. for whatever reason um well probably because it's just the right thing to do but he yeah. he's re- very heavy on calling people out in the community that, uh, you know, per, you know, make these uh, transgressions against people based on what you've seen, would you say that um, that we gave a mature, proper response or would you say, you know, I, what would you say? <laughs> um, so honestly, I so for the most part, absolutely. I have seen a lot of support, you know, um, I have. Uh, I have seen some people that were, you know, saying some really immature things as well. Um, so, I mean, you always want to feel like, yeah, there could, there could be better reaction, you know. Um, I ha- I mean, I've seen a lot of jokes and, you know, memes and such, you know, which is like, I get it, memes are funny, but then at the same time, it's like, man come on y'all <laughs> you know yeah this is yeah really not a laugh matter but that is society period you know right. that's not just like oh it's just happening in a breaking community that anytime you know somebody's canceled or whatever the means the memes happen you know so and it's you know it's hard not to laugh as well because uh as humanity we one of the best or one of not the best ways but one of the major ways we cope with pain is through laughter you know so um so i understand that that happens you know um but it's 
for the most part, it, yeah, it's not a lasting matter. You know, it's not a lasting matter because um, uh, so many people are affected by it, you know? So, and that's the thing, like, I think, that, I think that's another thing that I feel like um, we should understand more as a community is that there's so many moving parts within this, even though it's always the focus needs to be that the the most people the the people that are affected by it the most are the survivors period you know so that's always that that i think that always needs to be made clear you know cuz you hear people in a community say oh i'm so tired of this oh i'm so exhausted and it's like what the <laughs> how are you exhausted this right. didn't even you know like you <laughs> you are not a survivor of this you know right. you hear men say it you know you're just like whoa right. <laughs> you know <laughs> if you want to see exhausted look at the people that it happens to they're yeah, the ones who exactly, need to be exhausted you know? but right. i do understand as a community yes this is kind of exhausting i get it you know but you need to chill out you know <laughs> you did not it, you did not experience this you know um so so i think that that like in terms of that response that's something that like okay we need to kind of work on you know as a community um but also the the response of um of the you know coming to conclusions of you know everybody that was involved with legs knew about it you know like that's that's unrealistic as well you know like right. it's not everybody that was in rocksteady knew about it you, <laughs> calm, right. calm down you know like it's, <laughs> it's um i mean there's you know there's there's levels i'm i'm pretty sure people knew that you know legs like to talk to women you know like I, you know i'm pretty sure people may have known like that as aspect but you know it's like you're saying like oh all the women within rocksteady knew about this you know like that's you know yeah, fun, you know that's, that's kind of like um you know because he's the you know the second I think the second, the second like major hip hop uh, pioneer to go to having, you know, a situation like this after the Bambada situation. Right. And it's the same thing with, with the BAM situation. Mm -hmm. There were people that knew yeah. and they should be held accountable for withholding that knowledge. But to, to the think to think that the whole universal Zulu nation right. knew what was going on in BAM's apartment and BAM's personal life. I mean, to anybody who thinks like that, yeah. most of us are in crews. Yeah. I don't know everything. That, what is, I don't know what my crew's doing right now. I know I'm talking to Mako on this microphone. I have no idea what the rest of Outsiders crew is doing currently. Exactly. You know what exactly. I'm saying? So it's so I, I feel you. I feel your yeah. point. Yeah, and 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 I mean, and that that I mean, it's as clear as like when you hear about sociopaths or you know that I had to have married to somebody for like 27 years and they had no clue. You know, right. so so you know you can't just jump to a conclusion like that, you know? So I think, um, so a lot of that talk was, uh, has been going on, you know, within the community. And I think that's something that we need to, um, cut back on, you know, because as, uh, because in a situation like that, where, you know, where one person is, um, is expressing toxic behavior and, and you know, a lot of people are, it involves a lot of people, you know, family members and all, you know, like all these third party, you know, people <laughs> like that, you know, that have to deal with this as well, you know? So um, even though the people that, you know, that, that the focus needs to be on, be on in terms of, you know, healing such is are the survivors, you know, but there's, but there's, and there's also third, party collateral as well you know like that comes like with with this type of situation you know so um so i think it's uh it's uh important to you know keep that in mind uh going forward as well but i mean i don't even, I don't even want to say going for it because it needs to end <laughs> right <laughs> but you know but realistically you know human being beings are human beings you know so no um you know, I just think we need to keep that in mind as well in terms of how we react to it as a community. Olympics is not going to just be the only way, you know? So what we do and what we have been doing um, is what we will continue to do, you know? Um,
For more quality content from Beyond the Cypher with Ill Skills, don't forget to press the like and subscribe buttons. Let us know how we're doing down in the comment section, and to make sure that you don't miss anything from the channel, smash that notification bell. We appreciate the love and support. Peace until the next episode.